Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about dividing rational algebra expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are the first three examples that we have for this topic in which, again, our focus is on how to divide these rational expressions. Last time, we have uploaded the video wherein the target natin is to multiply and then we mix up dividing. But this one is a separate video intended for dividing rational expressions. Let's go with number one. In number one, we are given the expressions 5x over 8 divided by 15x squared over 4. Always remember that in dividing rational algebra expressions, you will always go through multiplying. So let's start. First, you need to copy this 5x over 8, copy 5x over and then this division symbol will be replaced by multiplication symbol. I will use a dot. Next, the second expression, we need to get the reciprocal of this. If this is 15x squared over 4, your numerator will become denominator, and then your denominator will become the new numerator. And it goes like this. This will become 4 over 15x squared. Now, we can directly multiply 5x times 4, and we can also multiply 8 times 15x squared because the rule is numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. But before multiplying it, we need to simplify some of the terms or expressions here, like 5 and 15. We can eliminate this, it will become 1, and this 15 will become 3, because their GCF is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Next, we have the variable x, we have here an x, and here, since this one is x squared, it will become x only, okay? So let's move on with the other numbers. Here, we can also eliminate or simplify 4 and 8. Their GCF is 4. We have 1, 4 here. It will become 1. And this 8 will become 2. Now, since we already simplified or we, on, we already canceled out some of the terms of the expression, we can multiply this. We have 1 times 1, which is 1 over... For the denominators, 2 times 3, which is 6, then we still have here the variable x. Meaning, the quotient of these expressions is equal to 1 over 6x. As simple as that, guys. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, first copy this one. 3 over 8y. This, turn to multiplication get the reciprocal, flip, okay guys, again, flip, so we have 2y square over 15. So after doing that, check natin kung meron tayong pwedeng simplify. Here, as you can see, we can eliminate 3 and 15. The GCF is 3. So for 3, we only have 1, 3, and for 15, we have 5 threes, so it will become 5. Now for these terms naman, or for these expressions, our 2 and 8, it will become 1. We have their greatest common factor, which is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. For 8 naman, it will become 4. And as for the y variable, this is y and this is y square. Cancel this one, and since this is y square, it will become y na lang. So we, we're going to multiply it now. So this is 1 times 1. That would be 1 over 4 times 5, which is 20. By the way, we have here a y. So 1y, or in simplified form, that is simply y over 20. And this is the answer for item number 
Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3 guys, we have here x minus 4 square over 30x to the 4th power divided by x minus 4 over 15x. Same process, copy the first rational expression. We have x minus 4 square over 30 x to the fourth power here turn to multiplication get the reciprocal to become 15 x over x minus 4 now let's go and cancel some of the expressions dito for the numbers muna 1315 their gcf is 15 so 15 divided by 15 is 1 Eliminate this. For 30, this is 2. We have two 15s. For the x variable, this x can be cancelled out. Ito naman magiging power of 3. Okay? Power of 3. Next, what about here and here? Actually, we can cancel this out. Sir, bakit po? Itong ano natin, itong x minus 4. Square is the same as x minus 4 times x minus 4. So we can eliminate this and one of those. So what, what will happen? Cancel this out and it will become to the power of 1. Okay? Now, what will happen? Let's multiply. What remains here is x minus 4 times 1. So it will become x minus 4. Over here we have 2 and then x raised to the third power. So as you can see, the final answer or the simplified form for number 3 is simply x minus 4 over 2x raised to the third power. Now let us practice more with items number 4 and 5. First, our given here is y squared minus 64 over 8y divided by the quantity of 8 plus y. Now, what we need to do here, guys, is that we will copy this first. y square minus 64 over 8y. And then this one will become times. Ito naman, we need to get the reciprocal. But how are we going to do this? We, next, we can express 8 plus y over, as 8 plus y over 1. Then flip it. It will become... It will become 1 over 8 plus y. Now, as you can see, wala pa tayo nakitang wala pang evident na pwedeng i-cancel out. But, in the first expression, we can factor out y square minus 64. Because this one is a difference of two squares. It will become y plus 8 times y minus 8 and copy over 8y then times 1 over 8 plus y now as you can see wala pa rin tayong pwedeng may cancel out at first glance but always remember that this 8 plus y is the same as y plus 8. So as you can see, we can eliminate this and this to simplify the expression. And then after that, we need to multiply. y minus 8 times 1, that is y minus 8 over your denominator 8y. And this is now the quotient of item number 4. Now let's move on with item number 5. For number 5, we need to apply here trinomial factoring and difference of two squares. Let's factor out first our numerator. We have x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, we can factor it out and it will become x plus 5, then x plus 2. So 
the factors of x squared is x and x, the factor of 10 that will become the sum of 7 is 5 and 2. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 plus 2 is 7. Over your denominator, this one is a perfect square trinomial. It will become x plus 2 and then x plus 2. Or we can also express this as the square of binomial, like x plus 2 square. But this time, kasi mas okay sa akin tong dalawang to. Then, get the, uh, get the division to multiplication. And this, get the reciprocal of this. And always remember that the factors of x squared minus 4 is this. X plus, one, x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, let's get the reciprocal. I'm skipping a, a step high. So, it will become... When I flip it, it will become x plus 2 times x minus 2, then over 1. We flipped 1 over x squared minus 4, and this, this one, we express it as factor form, like this one. Now, let's get ready to cancel some of the factors. Here, we can cancel this out. We can cancel this out. Okay? So as you can see, what remains here are these expressions. We have x plus 5 times x minus 2. And for the denominator, this is simply 1. Okay? 1 na lang to kasi na-eliminate natin lahat times 1. So that is only 1. So, there's no need to put the denominator 1. So, what we need here is this answer. We, we can express this as factors, pero since wala naman tayong denominator, we can multiply these two expressions. We can use the FOIL method. So, x times x is x squared. Then, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Here, it will become plus 5x. Here, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Simplify, we have x squared. This negative 2x plus 5x, that is plus 3x, then minus 10. And this is now the quotient of item number 5. That's it, guys. Medyo mahaba yung session, but I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong lesson natin on how to divide rational algebra expressions. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!